Welcome back to Multech Work TV. So what I'm going to show you right now is the Nokia enhancement on Windows Phone 8. So this is Nokia CityLens, Nokia Transit, Transport, Nokia Maps and Nokia Drive Plus Beta. So the first thing you'll notice is that you no longer have the Bing Maps icon in the application lists. This doesn't mean that it's not available on the handset. You can go to it through the local scout feature in Bing. And if I go here, as you can see, I have Bing Maps. But the primary mapping solution on all Nokia Lumia Windows Phone A devices is going to be Nokia Maps. So here's Nokia Maps. The mapping data is exactly the same. So Windows Phone 8 uses the same maps for all applications using the Nokia Maps control. So if I'm on Nokia Maps or in Bing Maps, I'm using exactly the same vector data that I've downloaded on my handset for offline use. The main difference is that the points of interest are not the same. So you have some that are available only in Bing, some only in Nokia Maps. So this is a little bit disappointing because I'm still waiting for them to, you know, just converge their database and have one single database for all mapping. But they have it. You have options. I would have preferred if there was only one mapping option. But anyway, the, data, the, the mapping that is the same, the uh, points of interest are not. And also the features. You have some features here that are, are not available currently on Nokia Maps. And the same is applicable to Nokia Maps too. So let's go back to Nokia Maps. So here we go. So this is my location right here. There you go. And you notice that I have also indoor maps. So if I go to this here, you'll see that the indoor maps are being loaded. So this is really nice. You can choose the floor. One, two, have the full list of shops, facilities. So this is currently not available on Bing Maps on Windows Phone, but available on Bing Maps on your PC. We also have traffic. Traffic has changed. So when there is no problem on the road, the color isn't changed. But if there's something, it will be in yellow, red or black. So don't be surprised if you don't see green all over the place on the map. This is normal. If there's nothing, it means that the traffic is fluid. If there's yellow, it means that there is an issue. Here you have another mall, and you can see that there's construction here and here. So this is a great improvement compared to the previous version of Nokia Maps. As you can see, I have some stuff right here. You also have 3D buildings. So let's try to go to here, for example, from my location. So I'm going to get some directions. There you go. So I have, oh, sorry, let's try again. There you go. So. Here are the directions. I have the car direction, I have the transport. So here you have everything and also walk directions. So if I go back to the map, you'll see it right here. So if I go into driving direction, it, I can start navigation directly from here. So if I tap on it, it will open Nokia Drive. So I've downloaded the map, so don't pay attention to this message. And here you go. So it's obviously not going to locate me perfectly right now, given that I'm indoors, so the GPS isn't really working. But anyway, so you can see that it's really a lot more, it's a lot smoother than on Windows Phone. 7, you have buildings, you have all the vector mapping, so it's really, really great experience. So, as I said, this is a really great improvement compared to the previous version. This one actually runs in the background, so one thing you have to remember is that if you're doing anything else, 
the application is still running navigation is still running so if you don't go back and cancel the current navigation it will drain your battery life so if I go here for example into the background task you'll see that Nokia Drive Plus is still running I can tap to close it or simply go back here tap back and stop the navigation if you don't do this it will be running in the background until you decide to close it so let's take a look at all the options I can set my destination I have all the settings I can choose obviously the map cards this hasn't changed compared to previous version I have navigation license location on and I can manage maps and when I tap on manage maps it will go into the Windows Phone settings maps so here I can download any map I want from around the world so if for example I go here in the settings and go into maps there you go you'll see that I have the same menu as I had in Nokia Drive so as I said all the maps you download on your Windows Phone will be made available to all applications using the Nokia Maps control so let's go back into Nokia Drive there you go I can choose my voice and what's interesting here is that depending on the crunch you are you have different voice options for example in France I can have the regular voice or the one that uh, speaks you know the names of the streets so this is a feature that has been um, asked for by many users and it's currently available only in certain regions so if you're in the US you have to wait a little bit it's coming same for us here in France we still don't have Nokia commute feature which is available in Germany UK and the US and Italy I think but not yet in France so depending on the region you are you won't have the same features in Nokia Drive so let's try to go somewhere in Nokia Drive so let's set a destination let's go to last uh, destination for example to Pizza Hut and you'll see that you have some more options here which were not available previously in Nokia Drive so if I tap on it here I have the route settings so I can either choose the faster route, the shorter route or the economical route so I'm going to choose the faster one I can enable motorways, toll roads, ferries, tunnels, unpathed roads and motor rails I can enable them or disable them so this is really great and really is something that everybody's waiting for has been waiting for sorry so let's start and great the yeah. really smooth experience compared to the previous version thanks to the new dual core CPU I guess and especially the vectorized maps so it's really really great I mean it's one of the best if not the best GPS uh, right now available so now let's take a look at Nokia Transit so this is the latest version of Nokia Transit so let's try to go to the Champs-Elysees so here you go if I tap on it I have my journey details and if I tap here instead you know of having the old Nokia maps I have this really great user experience so if I swap from left to right it will give me exactly the right info on how to go from one place to another once again this is exactly the same mapping data the same vectorized map that I have downloaded on my map for offline usage so really great experience only available right now on Nokia uh, Windows Phone 8 devices so really you, you are getting the best of the best if you get Nokia Lumia Nokia Drive, Nokia Maps can be available on HTC handset there is nothing announced right now but you may hear from HTC in the coming weeks uh, so stay tuned for more info